Hey guys, today we'll be doing a walkthrough on how to file your taxes for free using Cash App. Filing your taxes with Cash App allows for you to file your federal and state tax returns in addition to receiving free audit defense if for some reason the IRS or state rejects your return. Again, all with no fees, which makes it 100% free, so you know I have to put the family hips in this Cash App feature. Using Cash App taxes is pretty quick and easy, which you guys will see, but listed are the circumstances that Cash App unfortunately does not support at this time. And last but not least, if you like content on the debt in financial literacy make sure to join the family so that you're on the loop on when i post on content like such hopping right into it i will be using my computer to go through the tax filing process with cash app but you can feel free to use your mobile device because you can do it through the app as well the very first time i logged on to cash app taxes via the web it did ask for me to input my cash passcode in addition to my password so this authentication process did make me feel like this platform is secure once you log in, you are presented with your dashboard, which will tell you your estimated refund amount for both federal and state, and also the tax filing process, which is the info, income, expense, tax review, all that we'll walk through. But overall, this process is very simple and Cash App will guide you right through it. As you guys can see, I have already went through the tax filing process and I was able to successfully file for W-2, 1099 miscellaneous, and 1098-T. The first step in the tax filing process with Cash App would be for you to input your taxpayer information, which is just your basic personal information. For the purposes of this video, I did file as a single person with no dependents, but the listed are the filing statuses that Cash App taxes supports. After entering your taxpayer information and any information about dependents, you would did move forward into adding in your income. If this is your first time filing your taxes, and especially if you have a simple tax return like only W-2s, the only thing you have to do is follow the steps that Cash App provides for you, look at your W-2, and input the correct information from each box. You can snap a photo of your W-2s and upload it via Cash App to be able to auto-populate your information. For some popular employers, like for my W-2 with Amazon, once you input the employer identification number, which is box D on your W-2 form, the information will auto-populate for you. And then it will be up to you to go through and make sure that the information is indeed correct. Once you have input all of your W-2 information, you may notice that some of the amounts are rounded to the whole dollar, but that's all due to conform with the IRS e-filing guidelines, so don't worry about that. Once you're done inputting your income information, you can then go back to your main dashboard and then you'll be able to see your estimated tax return amount. If you don't have any other tax forms to input for income, then you will proceed over to the next tab, which is the expense tab, the state tab, then the review tab, and then you will be done. I did receive a 1099 miscellaneous miscellaneous tax form from YouTube for 2023 so I will input that information in and for this form I did have to go to the top and search it in the search bar but once I did that it was as easy as just inputting the information in. Going back to the main dashboard and reviewing my deductions slash credits, I see that I did not qualify for any family credits, most likely due to me not having any dependents. And for self-employment, which is for YouTube, I did see that I qualify for the qualified business income deduction, which was for $154. And from my understanding, you will qualify for the QBI if your income is low enough, and essentially you would be able to take a 20% tax deduction, meaning that that $154 was a tax deduction and I would not be taxed on that amount in regards to my YouTube earnings. The last form that I had to file was my 1098T form that I received from my college because I am still a college student and I had to again go to the search bar and search for that form and it was named education credits. My college did send me out this tax form via mail and I am eligible for the American Opportunity Tax Credit, which is a tax credit that is available to help pay for your educational expenses, pay for the first four years of your education. Although I have been in school for more than four years now, at the beginning of the tax year, I have yet to still get my undergraduate degree and I am still enrolled in school at half time. So I am taking advantage of this tax credit. Now back to the main dashboard, as you guys can see, we're down to the state portion of our taxes. And basically it's the same process of you inputting the information that Cash App access for you to provide. In addition to me filing both federal and state, I do have to file city taxes due to me living in the city of Detroit. And I do have a balance due because I do not work in the city of Detroit, so my taxes for the city are not automatically took out from my paycheck. So it is my responsibility to file the form that they say I have to file, which is form 5118. And again, this is my responsibility. This money will not be deducted from my tax refund. So again, your responsibility my responsibility if you are filing in a city where you do have to pay city taxes. 
And this is pretty standard for most do-it-yourself tax platforms like TurboTax, for example, they didn't do this same thing with my city taxes. I was my responsibility. So Cash App is still falling in line with what most platforms offer. And now it's time to review all the information that we input. When I click review information about my business income, Schedule C, the qualified business income popped up. And it was once again, my responsibility to go through this to make sure that the information was accurate. The same steps would apply for you if when you go to click review, you have things that you actually need to review based on the tax forms that you input into your return. My federal taxes were all set, so I did proceed with e-filing and then the next screen just showed me the information about my estimated tax return. And rest assured, if you do still have errors on your tax returns that you didn't pick up on, but for some reason from the federal side or state, your tax return is rejected, you do have that free audit defense. The next step in review is to input my state ID information and this is all to prevent any delays when my tax return is being processed for verification purposes. This next step, the self select pin from 2022. This had me in shambles because no I did not remember the pin that I made last year when filing my taxes through Credit Karma. But the self select pin is pretty standard for when it's time for you to sign your taxes electronically when using a tax preparation software. You do also have the option of inputting your AGI, your adjusted gross income from your previous year's tax return, which I should have done in the first place because I did not remember my pin and my return for federal actually did get rejected and I had to go find my AGI from Credit Karma. So if you are in the same situation where you do not remember your PIN, I would just go back to the platform that you have previously used to file your taxes and find your AGI instead of putting in a PIN that's wrong and then having it rejected. Once you finish up with that information, you would then go into selecting where you want your federal and state refund check to be deposited to. Obviously, if you choose Cash App, that will be the fastest way for you to get your refund, but you are able to choose it to go to a different account or for it to be mailed to you as a check. The next step is for you to review the consent to e-file with using Cash App. And for this year, you are going to select a new pin for you to use, that five digit number that you will use again for next year if you choose to e-file. So I would recommend for you to write this number down in your notes somewhere, somewhere digitally so that you are able to simply go on your phone and find it when it's time to file your taxes next year. And after hitting e-file now, you would be officially done with filing your taxes through Cash App. I do think that Cash App taxes is very quick and easy once you get into the groove of things. And I like how user friendly it is. And as you guys can see, it is 100% free to file your taxes through Cash App. They're not taking out any tax preparation fees. And in comparison to other tax preparation softwares out there, with me having a pretty simple tax return, I think that this was a quick, fast, and free and easy way to file my taxes.